That's it, guys. We'll try to add a few more tomorrow. One o'clock. Derek, I know at the beginning of the season, this is this is always one of the goals, get to Atlanta. So that now that you guys have, have gotten to this point, uh, just how, how special is it to be back in the SEC championship game? Man, it's very special. It's like to see a tough conference. We've got a great team. It's, we still got to stay with the lot game and we took the focus to get ready for the sleep. I would prepare and pray for Florida to be a tough team. Alabama and Florida have appeared in the title game more than anyone else in the SEC. So does it add maybe a little bit more when it is Tide and Gators in the championship? You know, just the uh, history behind the training SEC championship just makes it a lot more fun, a lot more uh, bigger of a game. So we're excited to play it. Like I said, you got to play for these guys. They make out what they do. So I'm going to shoot a lot of games here. We're excited. Growing up in Florida, who's your root for a college team? I was a uh, Florida fan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I really love Florida growing <laughs> up and love when Tito was there. I was a big fan of Tito, so I'm good for Florida. Basically, Florida in this situation, what does that time, what does that mean to you? What does that, I'm growing up a Florida fan, how does that, how does that feel to be able to face this team? Well, I'd say they're uh, a great team, you know what I'm saying? I don't know a lot of people look at it because I'm from Florida, but I'm facing Florida, but I'm saying this is another, uh, it's a team, it's a team you have to play that's a really good opponent that we've got to get prepared for, so. Decided, decided, ready for the Saturday. I know you already played him before, but you don't hear from your friends and family back home who are Florida fans, right? Oh, no, no, no. They're all supportive of me and want to see them do well. But they don't really talk to the college dogs. I know sometimes when, when you're in the moment, it can be hard, uh, but do you think maybe after the season's over, I mean, the, the statistics that you're compiling, your name's being mentioned with Bo Jackson, Herschel Walker. What's it going to be like to look back on this season one day and just look at what you've accomplished individually? I mean, whenever that time comes, I'm saying maybe I have the time to do that, but right now I'm just focusing on this season, not really looking at things like that. We still got a lot of things that we got ahead of us. And right now it's Florida and SC Championship, so we got to prepare for them. And I can't wait to go out there and practice and get ready for them. Jimmy keeps talking about having to finish the season. How is he reiterating that in practice for you all and getting the job done and finishing? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, gotta keep pushing. Gotta stay mentally locked in. You know what I'm saying? And focus on finishing. No excuses. You know what I'm saying? Just go, just go out there and do what we do. Practice hard. Play right, play the right way. Let's focus on uh, one game at a time. But right now, that's four. Like I said, it's a championship that we gotta get ready for. Nick, did you ever go see Tebow play when he was in high school? Oh uh, yeah, I played. I wanted to go see him when uh, he played for me in the beach. My cousin played for me, and I watched him transfer. I was amazed then, just how I was in college. What was your cousin's name? Uh, Marcus Johnson. Marcus Johnson. Why didn't you go to Fernando Beach? I'm from Peru. That's where I was raised. That's where I was raised. A lot of loyalty to there. A lot of loyalty to the U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach Saban talked about uh, on, on Saturday how you just did not want to come out of that game, uh, specifically on that fourth and one at the end. I mean, you've already carried the ball 45 times, but you know you guys need that yard. How badly do you want the ball in your hands in that situation? No, he, he kept asking me the whole game was out. Was out. I was like, Coach, I'm okay. I wanted to win the game for the team, and you know what I'm saying I just just wanted to stay in because I knew that that's how to make it how to make the play to uh, help the team win. Okay, I'm all for the team, so I so I really really never complained. Just wanted the team to win. That's what I try to do. At that point, though, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you got to be feeling at least a little bit tired after 45 carries, right? My, my main focus is on finishing. I'm saying, tiredness is out the way. I'm saying I got time to rest and go to sleep that night, but my main focus is on finishing up with this team. Win. What is interesting, Reggie, Reggie said, you know, when guys come to the program, Nick Saban runs it like it's a professional. You have to kind of be a professional when you come and play here. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, you got to do it. Uh, it's, it's a lot of business. It's, 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 it's like a program. The guys know you got to do this. It's a lot of Work hard, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Come on, get better every day. What do you do that allows you to take so many carries in for the team on offense? What are the things you do? Uh, you just go out there and practice hard. The whole week, and my team has to get better. You know, all the all, all the success I had, and the, uh, the carries and stuff like that, and the media has success. Credit all to my teammates and coaches. You know, so it starts off from the offensive line, saying my way to control my experience. Yeah. A couple yeah, more, a couple more for you guys, Derek. Uh, you know, not just at Alabama. It's like this at, at really a lot of the schools in the SEC, where the expectation it seems like the baseline is national championship or bust, SEC championship or bust. As a player, what's it like operating under those types of expectations? The bar is set so high. Uh, you, I mean, that's the reason why I came here because the standard is so high, the bar is set so high. And you know, Coach Saban does a great job with just doing that year after year, by the way he runs the program. Players here, they all buy into it. We're, 
we don't understand. So we're saying we'll try to limit it out and just focus and do some more at a time and just start in situations. How much fun do you have this year? I have a lot of good abilities to I love it right in the program, so it's been a lot of fun this year. Thanks, guys. Thanks.